Hi, Bobs. What are you doing, boys? <laughs> okay. You gonna be in here? Fine. Be in here while I talk to the people. Hi, guys. <laughs> so in my last video, I gave you the update on my skin. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step routine that was recommended to me by my medical esthetician that I saw last week. Um, so she wrote it down here morning night what to do in the next two weeks what your skin is going to be dealing with what's normal what's not normal she kind of explained that all to me in the um, appointment and then now just gave me line by line on everything that i should be doing and the products that i should be using so to start off for in the morning she recommended that i first cleanse moisturize use a SPF with zinc and then apply my makeup. In addition to that, she said to spot treat with tretinoin 1% both morning and PM when needed. What I like about this routine is that it is very simple. Um, it's not adding in a uh, you know, azelic acid or adding in any additional serums. It's starting me with the things that I know work for my skin, but also integrating tretinoin um, in my routine as well. So to show you a rundown of my morning products. So what I use is the La Roche-Posay cleanser this is the hydrating gentle cleanser for normal to dry skin and she said just use something that's simple that you can get at the drugstore that's dermatologist approved and this works perfectly no need to get a 60 or 80 dollar cleanser like i was using before so that's great and then also if i feel like my skin is it, it just needs a double cleanse. Then I'll also do this unscrub Paula's Choice. Whatever, <laughs> let me read it for you. So this is the Paula's Choice, the unscrub. Um, it is a very light exfoliator. It's not irritating, fragrance free. Um, and I really like it. Once I use this and this, I just feel like my skin is completely, completely um, clean. So that's what I start off with. Then I go in with my moisturizer. Um, this is a moisturizer that I've been using for years. I first got it when I went to Paris. I don't know, I wanna say like 10 years ago. Um, I got it from the CVS and I've just been using this brand ever, ever since. I just get it from Amazon. Um, the name of it is Embryolis, Embryolis Let Cream Concentrate. Concentra it's, it's French. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is the one I've been using. It's thick, it's moisturizing, and sometimes my skin could be it's, I would say it's normal, but it leans a little bit dry sometime as well, depending on the weather. So this is actually the perfect moisturizer for me. And then the zinc with SPF. So I haven't incorporated this into my skincare routine as yet. Um, I have been using Super Goop, like I explained, but that's something that I want to stay away from for now and I want to really try to find an SPF that um, has the ingredients that my esthetician recommended. So either zinc oxide or titanium deoxide. And I know that the one from Elta who, that is often recommended by a lot of influencers and just a lot of people who are recognized in the skincare industry recommend the Elta. So I think that's the one that I'm going to purchase and try on my skin. So once I do the cleanser, once I moisturize, once I put the zinc on, there is an option here to spot treat with the tretinoin 1%, both morning and at night if needed. So she prescribed me the tretinoin 
1% by Obagi. Um, and just when I have, not really irritation, but when she, when I feel like my skin needs it, if I have a breakout or anything, this is when I would use this in the morning and in the afternoon. But after that, those few steps, so how many steps? One, two, three, four. So after those four steps, possibly three, I'm good to put on my makeup and I'm ready to go about my day. So let me hold it up. Moisturizer. Oh no, what am I saying? <laughs> I'm saying cleanser, um, moisturizer, and then the tretinoin when needed and then i apply my makeup and then switching over to my nighttime routine now so i'll start again with the cleanser and i'll also do a double cleanse here again so it's the double cleanse of the la roche posay hydrating gentle cleanser and then i'll also go in with the polish choice the unscrub which i think is really great for sensitive skin i would say personally i really like it um, and then once I, my face is clean, I would mix the tretinoin 0.025% with my moisturizer. So using a pea size of this and a pea size of this, mixing it in and just applying it to my face until it's completely settled. Um, but I would use this tretinoin every other night. So not every single night because um, that could be damaging. It is a retinol after all, so you want to be careful. Um, but she said every other night you'll definitely see a difference. Um, so that's what I've been doing. Mixing this in and that is pretty much it. She did mention that in two weeks to really um, remove all the dark spots and hyperpigmentation um, that was caused by my breakouts previously, to incorporate um, hydroquinoin. Um, this is by Obagi. It's really called AM Clear. Um, this is a bleaching cream. And when she said that, it kind of scared me because I was like, what are you trying to do with my chocolate skin? <laughs> um, but she said it's not going to be, it's not crazy bleaching. Like it's not gonna be you know, totally Michael Jackson. Um, <laughs> it is going to be effective, but it won't completely ruin my skin complexion. It's just gonna lighten the spots that need to be lightened. Um, and she said to begin this um, with the tretinoin at nighttime, um, after two weeks of starting this new routine. So it seems like a lot, but it's actually not. I hope that came across, that it's a very simple routine. Once you cleanse, you moisturize, you use the tretinoin every other um, day, and I'll add this in obviously, and then I'll spot treat as needed with the 1% tretinoin. So what I like about this routine, that it's really simple, and that's what I wanted to start off with. I mean, do I itch to incorporate some of the brands that I've been seeing all over? Yes, yeah, sure, but I really want to get my skin back to normal, um, and I think this is the way to do it. So that is the step-by-step -step routine that I'm gonna be following, and I'll share with you how it goes. I've been kind of documenting my skin um, and how you know these products this routine is working so i'll share that with you um but yeah let me know if you have any questions i'm not really taking suggestions at the moment because clearly um i need to just focus on what my medical esthetician is saying but let me know what's what's working for you i'm, I'm interested if yours your routine is as simple as mine um or if you're still doing the 10 step skincare routine and all this stuff um yeah let me know but that's an update and i'll keep you posted on how it goes